Hello everybody, welcome back to episode 2 of our Let's Play of The Herbs, Sims in the City for Game Boy Advance. In the last episode, we clearly obviously started the Let's Play, got busted, went to jail, now we're out, and now we need to pick ourselves back up and get a house and get a job, so let's get working. Ooh, my friend, how are you? There you are, dog. I got word of one of the artists was in the slammer. What's up? Artists? Who are they? They're your people, dog. Your rep group? The group you run with? Didn't you know? Uh, Chris mentioned it to me, but no. Uh, that girl's a streety just like me. She's part of my crew. Know what I am saying? Yeah, but what if I don't like my fellow artists? No sweat. You can always find the head of another group and kiss up to them. It takes a while, but it can be done. Thanks for the info. Keep your feet pounding on the street. I'll see you around. Darius is such a cool guy. Anyways, uh, right, off the bat. When we start seeing these little piles of rubbish, and there's bottles and fruit and everything. There's also something in here we can get. Oh, easel beads. Let's talk about the easel beads now, right? Let's go select and my easels. We Oops, that's B, Peter. That's B. We don't have any easels, right? But there's gonna a club's gonna open up soon. Uh, called Club Easel, and this is what we're gonna have to work on. And you get these beads, and these beads buy. They're kind of like perks to make your life a little bit better in the game. Um, we'll need them. For first goal for the day is to play hoops. This is. Oh, 5 a.m. and 5 p.m. Oh, well, I have enough money anyways to get a house. Let's go get a house then. I completely forgot about the time. Do I need to eat? No, I don't. So here is Urbina. Probably the most loveliest place in all of games. There's so many people around us right now. We won't talk to any of them. Not yet. We will later in the episode. But there's two houses up here, okay? There's more... There's trash everywhere, okay? We have this little house in here. We can go and check it out. It's very small. It's very old looking. They do the job. There's paint on the ground. I don't know why to do that. There's tiles falling off the walls. Look, it's it's okay. Uh, you can click on the green sign. It gives you the details of how much it is. Would you like to buy the small brownstone for 150 deposit and 175 for weekly bills? It's the cheaper option of the two houses here. This is the second house here. It's a 200 deposit and 195 for weekly bills. We have enough to play around with. We're going to buy this one. I always like this one. Congratulations on your new rental. We've moved your stuff as a courtesy. But unpack our crate quickly because we charge by the week. This is our house. This is our lovely, lovely house. This is the kitchen area. Up here is the nice bedroom with a nice Miami Vice background. It's very nice. Let's get our stuff. And it's hard to believe it, but yeah, we do have stuff. Our stuff that was left in the penthouse, our shower, our toilet, we got a phone, we got a crappy couch. It's all good. We'll take all that stuff, put it in our inventory, get rid of the crate. And now, we basically just put all this stuff in our house. So, we put this room. Oops, I hit the wrong button. This room can be our bathroom. Put the toilet in there too. Might leave the phone here on the wall, right there. It's in the middle of the house, more or less. Put the couch. That's the bed. Put the couch here, and of course you can buy new items and new furniture through the game and everything. Let's put the bed upstairs. And, ooh, I keep hitting B instead of A, I keep mixing them up. I might actually change them around, I don't know. Oh, my bed's messy. That's not very fair that I didn't clean my bed while I unpacked it. So we don't have to use the jail cell to live in there anymore, so that's good. And um, for now, I'm probably better, oh, wait, well, yeah, yeah, in every house that you get, you got this little utility box thingy, right? They make builds cheaper and they give other kind of effects. So this will lower your rent. So double pains for you gotta pay 2,000 to lower your bills by 40%. Uh, think this is when people come over to get a 40% more better feeling in your house and they'll give you a housewarming gifts. Uh, security system speaks for itself. The biggest one is 100%. When a burglar comes in, no items will be stolen. The second one is 250, but it's a 50% chance. Uh, I have no security, so, you know. Fire alarm speaks for itself. This will automatically call the fire department. This will put out fires as soon as this start. Hey, it's only 500 for that one too. Oh, we should get the fire alarm when we get it. But, you'd want to aim for getting that stuff. Make your make your life a little bit easier. Okay, I need to wait until 5am in the morning. So, I'll build my needs up and we'll cut right back. Oh, really, my shower broke. By the way, a cool thing is, you can actually change the colour of things in your house. For whatever colour you want. Like, I can even change the, the couch. I don't know. Blue? Oh, there's a lot of blue going on right now. Let's... Green's kind of ugly. Brown couch is kind of alright. Let's change the bed, actually, to... 
nice red. See, you can change the colours. We can also change our outfit at any time. Uh, I'll show you how to do that a little bit later in the episode. But now let's go and play hoops this time and get some more money. So, same principle, just like Squeaky Clean, it's another mini game and it's this one, it's straightforward. This is like it's the funnest one. This oh god, that's bad. Wait there. You wanna get that more or less centered. I think for every tree you get in a row, you get an extra bonus. We'll see a simoleon sign pop up under the hoop thingy to the left, watch. And when you get this one, you get an extra bonus. We double, double. We got double there now. It's very good. Um, but to progress in mini games, we need to build up our skills. So I think for this one, you need your body and I don't know what the other one is. To be honest. Um, but luckily enough, not like The Sims One and Two games, you don't need friends to progress in jobs. Because I used to hate that in the original Sims games. You need your friends to progress in jobs. What if you don't want to have friends? You know. You know what I'm saying. So, I don't need to show every mini game every time, by the way. I'll show it the first time, and that's really it's self explanatory then, you know. I just, I'll do it off screen. There'll be loads of stuff I'll be doing off screen too, which is, which is kind of good. It'll make the. We won't drag out the let's play. 100 simoleons? On our first day on the job? It's very good. Now we just need to find Detective Dan Man. Our needs are slowly going. Oh, there he is. Hey, PCJ, from what I hear. You're set yourself up in a pretty cool pad. Yeah, I have a house and a job. Excellent. Now remember, you're still on probation, so you can't leave this neighborhood. But otherwise, feel free to roam around. Catch you later. Now, we need to go around Urbina and talk to the herbs around here. Some of them are going to have jobs for us. Here's E1. Let's talk to him. It's a fine year we're having, don't you think? I mean, when E1, what a man. I could just meet these uh, people right now, these sims, and see what we're going on. We met Sue already though, so she does have a mission for us. Hey you, I'm headed to class in a little while. You coming with me? <laughs> no thanks, I have things to do. Sounds like me in college and real life when I went. Things to do? What's more important than going to this physics class when... Wait, oh my gosh, I totally mistook you for someone else. You're not even in my class, are you? No, I already have a PhD or HPD or whatever. <laughs> nice try, genius. You sound like you could use a little schooling. Unfortunately, this, uh, the application deadline is long past. But I know a few tricks to get you in through the back door. Are you interested? Yes, yes, tell me. Alright, here's the deal. You know Dr. Moore? If you get in good with him, he let you help out with one of his research projects. You're also going to have to need to write a thesis as part of your application portfolio. Do all this and... I will be... You and I will be classmates. Is that actually how you unlock the college in the game? I actually didn't know that. I see I usually just skip through all the things they said. I find it hard to read. Not like, the text is just too much for me. <laughs> no problem PCJ, remember, a mind is a terrible thing too. Hold on. How did that go? What? Here is famous Grandma Hattie, or Haiti or something like that, isn't it? She just introduced herself, bit of an activist in this town. Berkeley should be here. Hello, Berkeley. Yeah, his name is Berkeley. We don't need to. You there. Step this way and feast your eyes on the most amazing, outstanding, complete and piece of modern tech. Hey, hold on. Where'd it go? Gosh, I must have dropped it. What was it? Tell me, tell me. <laughs> I love the, the responses in this. Forget it. Just cheap junk. Say, PCJ, now that we're talking, I was wondering if you could run a little errand for me over at the thrift store. Why can't you do it yourself? I would if I could. But Phoebe has forever banned me from the premises. I fear I will never get my hands on the giant shrunken head she is auctioning. A shrunken head? Disgusting. No, it's not. It's carved out of balsa wood. It just looks astonishingly real, and that's why it's so important. Here. Oh, he's giving us 200 simoleons. That should be enough, I think. When is the auction? The second Lux thrift store runs an auction every day between 5pm and 7pm. Sign up at the counter and place your bid. Remember, I need that shrunken head. Fair enough, that's more gold for us, that's more gold for us. There's usually loads of trash over here. This is the thrift sh uh, shop here. If we go into it, you'll be very familiar with the music. Does it ring a bell? If I'm not mistaken, there's something should be here, I thought. Anyways, we can change our outfit here. Oh, excuse me, we can change our outfits at any time. Uh, we can just go in here. I kind of go with a, I want to go with double denim kind of a look now, to be honest. 
There we are, we're rocking double denim now. Here's Phoebe. Uh -huh. Hey there, my name is Phoebe Twiddle. I just moved here from Sin Valley to a couple of months ago to open up a thrift. Oh, this, I, the thrift shop's hers. Fizz me some. She's gonna give us a mission. Da -de -de -da 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 da 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 Oh, hey, PCJ, what's up? Were you just speaking a secret language? No, I was singing. Obviously, you're not very bright. <laughs> They're very mean to me. And neither is that a lame o who told me to keep practicing. Who's that? The so called cannibal Coleman. The musician. He's a genius, I guess. But if you want him to get you a gig in town, you have to get on his good side. How do I do that? You have to help him with compo help him compose. Let me try that again. You have to help him compose. He wants creative people to help him write lyrics and stuff. And he likes it when you buy him things like saxophone reeds and old jazz records. Maybe I should talk to him? Yeah, right. If he doesn't like my lyrics or being in the town where Lord, I, I don't like your lyrics either, to be honest. That is our another mission. Let's see what items in the thrift shop. We can't actually spend. Oh, there's the actual saxophone reed. We better buy that for him now. Um, yeah, there's stuff here I'd like to buy for the house, but we don't really have much money for it right now. But I'd make more money off screen. Um, there's one more sim or herb. I see. I keep mixing sim. Like it's kind of the same thing, to be honest. That I want to find. There is. The doctor we need to talk to. I need to build up my needs again. Let me, let's just get that first. Aha! 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 Lottie Cash! That's Lottie Cash. We need to talk to her, but I need a pee. That's not a pee. Come here, Lottie. Come here, come here, come here. Right. Lottie is in the riches. Uh, you know, she's very rich, all that stuff, etc, etc. Oh my gosh, I remember you. I saw you at Club Easel last night, right? Was that wicked or what? I think I nailed that. Club Easel. What's that? You know, Cleebie, Easel. Y you work there, right? You're the courtroom person. Uh, not in this life, I'm not. <laughs> Are you sure? I could have sworn that was you. You look like a court check person anyway. Yawn. She's a cheeky bitch. I want to go. <laughs> I want to go to Club Easel, please. Th this actual herb is like me. Want all you like, PCJ? It's not up to me. Talk to Crystal. Her parents own the. P P Jesus Christ, I really need. I should have read all this stuff when I was younger. Crystal's parents own Club Easel. I am. Every day is a school there, apparently. I think that should be. Oh, we're missing a mission here. What are we missing? And who are we missing it for? Dusty Hog? Yeah, you know Dusty Hog. We've met Dusty. D some of these people, actually, in this Herb game, we've met them already in. The Sims 2 PSP, The Sims 2 DS, we've already met them in the past Let's Plays. That's the class thing I love about these games, they're reoccurring characters. Ah, there's Dusty. Hey there, buddy. Listen up. Are you tough as nails or soft as snails? Tough as nails. I knew it. Well, listen, E1 and I are putting together a little dirt bike competition, but we need more riders to make it official. So I agreed to round up some people. You interested? Heck yeah. Awesome. This new track is going to be the best thing this side of the Mississippi. All you have to do is join $500 dollar dues. Jesus, I can do that, no problem. Of course you can, but I have to tell you, raising $500 is the easy part. Ian only wants the best of the best in this club, so stay on your toes. We need to talk to Ian uh, for another side of the mission, so we now have all these missions unlocked. So the best thing for me to do right now is Look, we've got five missions there. I build up my needs, and we'll get working on them. I think the best first mission we should work on is Crystal's one, though. Okay, since I don't have a TV in my house, I have to use the dance machine to build up my entertainment. I did, however, see Dr. Moore in here, unless he ran away. Yeah, he's gone. Ah, crap. By the way, I'm just going to show this off right now. This should be... Oh, did I collect it already? Oh, there's e easel beads here. Oh, there's E1. Let's go talk to him, right? Ewan, my man! How can I help you? What's up? I want to start racing bikes. You're the one Dusty Hog was talking about. I think that man needs a pair of glasses. You don't look like an expert rider to me. How hard could racing bikes at 140 miles per hour be? It's certainly safer than falling off a 100 story building. But if you want to join our track, you're gonna have to prove your dedication. What do I have to do? Basically, we have to bring Ewan lunch every day between 12 and 1. So we just bring him slices of pizza for 3 days in a row. And that's really it. Also, for that mission, we need to build up a 
we need to get 500 simoleons, so that's something I need to work on as well. But, while I'm waiting till morning time, I just want to go around town and collect some stuff we will need in the future, of course. I hear a saxophone! That means Cannonball Coleman is around. I hope he is, anyways, I don't seem to find him. Where is he? He's taunting me with his saxophone. Oh, look who it is! If it isn't Giuseppe Mizzellotti, Otto, we know who this guy is. We've come across him many times. One of my favourite characters, to be honest. Okay, right, there's Cannonball Coleman back there, but I want to check if Crystal's down here first, because Club Easel is more important to me at the moment. There's Crystal. So where is ultra-exclusive Club Easel? Come on, PCJ, you're not that square, are you? It's no secret that one of the entrances in Urbina, getting inside the club, is the difficult part. So how do I get inside? I'm not telling you anything until you can prove to me that you're as cool as a freshly cut diamond, and not some cheesy rhinestone? That has a rhinestone, I need to look that up. You know the saying, PCJ is a girl's best friend. <laughs> ha! <sighs> ha, tell you what, we'll hang out for 24 hours straight. Nice. If you don't get all lame on me, then I might tell you something about Club Easel C, whatever, I just completely... The text, the, the, the darkness of the text in the background, just, it's too much for me. Right, the blue bar's over our head right now. Shit, what do we do first? Do, 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 do we take her to the thrift shop first? Let's try the thrift shop first and see what happens. No. There's, a, there's an order you have to do this mission in. I think we go down here. Let's get her to Dan. Yeah, yeah, she likes this, but okay. I like this dive. It's dirty and grungy and oh. So right. Buy me a really wild piece of piece, piece pizza. We're getting a piece of pizza, guys, okay? <laughs> Let us get her a slice of pizza. I can give her a saxophone reader two logs either. What's up? We go to friendly stuff, give gift, we give her the slice of pizza. Let's play some cool games and whatever. So we can go over to the arcade machine, boogie down. Boogie woogie. Just dance away and that's basically gonna help her. And that's it. We talked to her. Dude, that totally exhausts me. You know what I'd like to do right now? I'm Shop! She wants to go shopping. So we will go to the thrift shop now. Phoebe, you're in the way. Okay, it's okay, we got out. We go down to the thrift shop. Turns out though, she don't like the thrift shop. She wants something else. Oh drat, this place is some lame junk. Maybe we could buy a little something somewhere else. Pretty please, something street, you know, edgy? Okay, straightforward. We basically just, she said street and edgy. See this person that sits out near our house? She sells things, let's go to her. I will buy her an old salty action figure? Don't know why she's gonna want that, it's a... I don't know if she'd like it. What a nice surprise, is it worth any money? Wait, what? Buy Crystal a gift. But I just did... Right, I'll buy her a red rose then. What more does she want? Wow, PCJ, thanks for keeping me company. I must admit, I had a pretty wicked time. We should hang out again. Yeah, maybe a club easel? Alright, okay, a promise is a promise. So, club easel is this crazy place where you can dance and sing and trade souvenir beats for special skills. I've explained the beats so we can skip through this, and she's gonna show us the entrance to club easel. And we're gonna go over and check it out. There's the door, it just magically appeared, by the way. I wasn't there. The door doesn't appear until you complete that mission. But let's just run up. Oh, the auction, the auction. Right, while well, it's five o'clock, let's go in. Do the auction for Berkeley. Buy his precious shrunken heads. 250. The auction's simple. We just come in like this. You will see we're against three other people. And until they stop going down in their prices, I can stop. Detective Dan Man. Is... Oh man, the, the piece is 200 and f 250. So I'm after using some of my money for that. That sucks. But, the winner of the auction is PCJ, we won the auction, we got the stuff. And the auction applies to any item in here, we can buy whatever we want, we could... Actually, let's sell these logs. Alright. I said sell the logs. And we could buy... we can't afford anything, but just for the sake of things and just say, let's see this por portrait, we can buy anything we want. Okay, so whenever we see Berkeley, we'll be able to give him the shrunken head. Now, here is Club Easel. 
these are the easels the the easels i was talking about so when we get three beads we're able to buy one of these and as you see hunger will slow down by 30 percent same with hygiene same with comfort one free point in each skill that's actually a nice one we we'll start off with loads of skills earn 20 percent more at all mini games for living large that's really good right there are two great skills so if i get another if i get my hand on another set of beads i will be able to buy one of these easels I don't have enough I know I know I know but let's enter the password the password is book it by the way oh I press B and here we are here's the famous famous club easel if I'm not mistaken oh also the windows is actually really cool it, it, no matter like if you get different easels than the ones I got they're actually displayed in club easel in the background see they're all the ones that I get now seriously if I'm not mistaken I thought there used to be easels in here. I'm not going to go and talk to anyone else right now. Because we got a lot of work to do. Also, while we're here, if you critique this graffiti, you can build uh, two creativity points. You can get two creativity points from this, so it's very good. And we can do it one more time. And we earned a skill point, so that's two creativity right now. Very good. Um, but I think I'm going to leave this episode over here, guys. And we can start continuing on with the rest of the missions. We got one done. We got the last one done. We'll start working on these ones next. The, the next four. That's the, that's the goal for the next episode. Get these at least these four missions done. I think that'll be a, a good stepping stone. Anyways, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I shall see you guys next time.